heat. And we've been talking about the tropics. There's only one spot out there and I've been pointing out all weekend. If you looked at this, you would kind of have a hard time figuring out which of these little collections of clouds and showers is the one with the chance of development. But it's this one out here in the Atlantic. The National Hurricane Center giving it 50% chance of development now once it reaches somewhere roughly around the Bahamas and that would be late this week. But it's going to take a while to get going if it ever does. For example, the European forecast, you can see just barely has a bit of development around the Bahamas and then kind of sweeps it up possibly along or parallel to the east coast of the US with that general movement here, which is around a big high, which I'll show you in a second. And then we've been watching, of course, our other global model, the GFS American model. It just shows messy moisture, never develops it, but just kind of brings some rain maybe over toward Florida and possibly parts of Cuba. And this would be all the way into Monday a week from now. So again, this is kind of more the GFS track, but it is not developing it or strengthening it much. And one thing to remember this week is that we still have Sahara and dust. We still have dry air and in fact later this week you can see we will still continue with some swirls of it. So not sure whether this will be able to get very strong. We will see but it does look like in general if it does strengthen a bit sometimes that causes these systems to respond more to a steering pattern as opposed to just kind of drifting around with that messy moisture. So if it does strengthen a bit it does look like it might follow this high out to the north and eventually curving to the northeast. So that's the thinking uh, by next weekend, possibly if it does get a bit stronger. So that's the potential steering pattern. We'll watch everything. We don't have any threats for our part of the Gulf Coast at this point. We'll keep you updated as we get into the next several days, but we have until at least Wednesday or Thursday before it even maybe starts to try to organize. Seven day forecast shows our local weather just looking hot. <laughs> We're getting into August on Thursday. We'll be looking for highs around 94 and 95. The heat index soaring to near 110. And once it's at about 108 plus for the heat index, the National Weather Service will start issuing heat advisories and maybe even those excessive heat warnings that we had seen for a long time this summer, but then didn't see it over much of July when we had that higher chance of rain and a break in the intense heat. But do be ready for a lot of heat heading into this week. A little higher rain chance when that high recedes to the west a bit this weekend.